Welcome to AlvaroHartley.com. We're going through a series of uh, vignettes. That's a fancy word, vignettes. Uh, Melissa wanted me to say that word, vignettes. To discuss estate planning. We talked about, if you look at the videos, click on them. We talked about wills versus trust. I had a, a goofy box. The next one I talked about living trust. This third one, I want to discuss with you how to avoid probate, which is the process of going through the courts. And there are some contractual ways to do it. Here's the top three. Number one, if you have a contract with a beneficiary attached to it, a life insurance, an annuity, those types of contracts do not require probate because they name someone that an individual company can pay the money to directly. All you need there is a death certificate and confirmation of your identity. That is a beneficiary. Number two is your checking accounts. There's a lot of ways to avoid probate with checking accounts. You can do payable on death, so when you croak, that money goes directly to whoever you direct it to. Another way to do that is you can have joint accounts. You can actually have your name with someone else, and then when you die, the asset is the remaining person's money. Now, be careful here. Be careful. It's a big warning. You can eventually, you can cut people out. So if you've got one kid you really like who lives far away, and you don't like the kid who lives next to you, and you put the kid you don't like on your checking account and you die, the kid you don't like may get all your money. So in order to avoid that, you want to make sure you put all the kids you like and the kids you don't like on your accounts. Because, you know, we all got kids we like and some we don't. All right. Third, make sure that if you're dealing with real estate, the deed has your name on it, okay? And if you want to add somebody to it, make sure you ta talk to a tax advisor before you do that because there are some benefits and, and, and some negatives around that. But if you have someone's name on the deed, you can actually have the title vested in the real estate to that person directly upon your death and not worry about having the property probated. Some states requires that. Ultimately, though, it, the deed itself would control. So check with your lawyer uh, in the state in which you reside to ref, uh, confirm all this information. But those are the top three ways. Beneficiary designations on life insurance and annuity contracts, payable on death or joint account holding with your bank, and making sure the person you want to have the properties on your deed, those are the top three ways to avoid probate. Feel free to give us some comments and feedback on that. If you've got any other questions, visit AlvaroHartley.com and send them to us. Uh, check it out on Facebook as well as the World Wide Web. Take care. Bye-bye.